Ho oh there! What's this? A weary traveler, perhaps eager to rest their tired hooves and hear a song or two? Pull up a log, stranger, and I shall make you merry with songs of heroes and monsters. Good eve, every pony. It's Chuckles, the bard. Have a seat by the fire and toss in a log while I sing of the clash of some might call them gods. It was Dream Giant Derpy and the Hydra of the Bog. On glorious day, which one will triumph and who will be slain? Remember the legend and sing out the fame of the Dream Giant Derpy and the Hydra unnamed. <laughs> yes, yes, come, let me sing you the legend. Let me tell you the tale. Now cast your mind back into memories deep. Do princesses dream of magic sheep? In the midst of the dreamlands writ of in Lovecraft, Miss Derpy grew giant and mewed like a cat. And rid on her back was the gallant Sir Spike. Uncushed in his claws was a lance like a pike. They answered the call, twas just them all alone who defeated the Tantabus to take back the throne. Yes, friends, you've been told lies. I don't care if I go to the dungeon. The truth must out. Princess Luna defeating the Tantabus? I laugh. Ha! No, twas Kaiju Derpy and Beast Rider Spike that put an end to the foul creature. But that was not the only foe they faced. Behold, a monster that routed the elements with its mere presence and sent Twilight running for the hills. In the murk of the mire, in the heart of the swamp, in the grit and the grime where the vile worms romp. A beast with five heads and with teeth there to chomp. And the earth quakes and shakes with its thunderous stomps. A beast like no other, a titan of blood. With serpentine necks o'er the treetops it stood. It dared any comers, it would feast on their bones, but Sir Spike and Great Derpy would face it alone. Oh, glorious day, which one will triumph and who will be slain? Remember the legend and sing out the fame of the dream giant Derpy and the Hydra unnamed. Yes, my friends, alone they went to Froggy Bottom Bog to do honorable combat with the great five-headed Hydra. Truly, it was a battle for the ages, their blows like the falling of mountains, pitting hooves against tooth. The battle was waged for a day and a night. Neither pony nor Hydra would yield in their fight. Her hooves were like houses, its fangs were like knives. They grappled and scrabbled and strained to survive. Sir Spike took his lance and he smote off a head. But where one there was lost, there grew two more instead. The battle seemed hopeless, all victory lost. But the duo pressed onward, no matter the cost. I tell you true, the stump neck merely grew two more heads in the stead of the first. It seemed that there was no means of triumph. But hark, as you all know, even a regular sized derpy has a backside capable of felling whole buildings by accident. She has destroyed floors merely by sitting down. There was yet a means of victory. She had but to deploy the butt. 
The Hydra came ravening with Vinner, Miss Ma, and Bruce Guard and battered Miss Derpy might fall. But she swung round her rear and she made an attack, rolled a twenty and hit with a mighty impact. The blow it came down like a biblical doom from Equestria to Griffinstone. All heard the boom and the Hydra. It vanished in an atomized fog. Sir Spike and Miss Derpy had rescued the bog. Oh, glorious deed. The monster was vanquished. The wetland was freed. So sing of this, Heine. Recall and take heed of Sir Spike and Miss Derpy, the dream giant steed. And that's the tale, my friends. Every word of it a truth on my oath as a pony. Oh, but what of our heroes, you ask? Why, they journeyed on across Questria, facing down the most vicious and dangerous villains and monsters and bringing peace and harmony to the land. And they still do, by my troth, they still do. One night I shall sing you more of their song. But for now, spare an old troubadour a few bits. Perhaps a jug of wine? No? A bowl of stew? A, a loaf of bread? Ha half a loaf of bread? Maybe just a, just a scrap? Uh, okay, okay, yes, I, I see, I see. I'm on my way.